Hey guys, John here from Big John Fishing Magnets in South Africa. Today I want to show you a knot that I recommend using. Uh, what I like in particular about this knot is it is fed through the hook. It's doubled up, so there's two pieces of rope that go through the hook. This just gives extra security should the rope break. Remember, there's a lot of flex and a lot of movement happening on that particular point. So in the water, the rope is wet as well. It's being dragged along the floor. There's bits and sand. It's being grazed. It's being pulled in that direction. And the knot's the first part of the magnet to take a beating. So you want to have a decent knot. Who knows what you're going to find on the end of this magnet. Could be 100 kilograms, could be 200 kilograms. Yeah, these magnets, this is a 400 kilogram magnet. And this mother of all magnets is 800 kilogram. So you want to make sure that you've got a decent knot uh, that's capable of withstanding that force. And a knot that's not going to fail over time. It's not a complicated knot, it uh, consists of three steps. The first thing you want to do is double the rope up. So I've doubled up, given myself about 30 centimeters. Uh, once you do your final knot, you can make it a little bit shorter, but for purposes of this demonstration, 30 centimeters is good. Step one is doubling it up. Step two is feeding the point through the hook of the magnet. Give yourself about three quarters. With this end, make a basic knot. It's a simple, straightforward knot over itself, keeping it nice and neat. The rope isn't folded over. Everything is parallel. I purposely left this loop nice and long. You feed this over the magnet. Take the magnet through that loop. The most complicated part, or the most difficult part of this knot is actually taking up the slack. We've essentially finished the knot at this point. All we need to do is take up the slack and make it tight. So we want to take up this loop slack. The tighter you do it at this point, the easier it is down the line. always like to see three lines over here on the reverse side. And there you go.